What's up guys, it's Hydra Sam and Frigg is officially gonna be our next character in Tower of Fantasy September 1st, baby. Woohoo, Cyber Mommy. Let's look at her. Isn't it rather superficial to cast judgment on what life is or is not? Oh, we see her. A three-star scan. That's the one I'm gonna go for. Got her nice normal attacks. Got that dual blade action going on. I mean, some of you already probably got whooped by her in the story, but man, look at her. Oh, that aerial, like, punch attack. What the heck? Oh, man. She got some AoE going on. A little bit, a little bit AoE. Oh, and she sliced that bullet. All right, so my next question, especially if I'm F2P, is is she worth it? Should I stop wishing on a Nemesis Bender? Even though some of y'all got forced to stop wishing on that yesterday. <laughs> oh, too soon, my bad. Anyways, shout out to the boys who made this Tower of Fantasy Index. Link will be in the description. She has already came out in China, and this is her stats. She has a DPS resonance, ice element, of course. Her shatter and her charge are gonna be eight and eight. So she's going to be kind of balanced. Before I get into her stats, if we look at the core teams from the Chinese 2.0 version, we can see that Frigg is actually one of the best DPS you can actually put in your ice team. So she's going to be one of the premier DPS. But of course, Subasa is there too. So if you're already like maining Subasa, you're already going for her stars. You don't have to go for Frigg. You can keep the Subasa. But if you've been unlucky and you haven't gone Subasa, Frigg is definitely going to be a good one for you to go for. So definitely in that aspect, if you're going to be an ice main, Frigg is going to be the one you're going to go for. Now, should you stop going for Nemesis? Honestly, no. I think, um, well, there's two things. Nemesis is really good in PvP. Nemesis heals. Nemesis is a support. Nemesis is going to last you for a long time. This is just 2.0. We don't know if eventually Frigg is going to get power crept, but as of right now in the Chinese server, she's the best ice DPS that you can get, or one of the best. While Nemesis, she's the only one that can get you that resonance. She's going to be able to heal you. Nemesis, look at Nemesis. She can be viable on multiple teams. Nemesis is a usable alternative right here for physical, so that's where she gets more versatility. And honestly, if you're F2P and maybe you already have Nemesis and you got your Samir, you're golden. You actually don't need to switch to a nice team. So I would say if you're committed to Volt, stay in the Volt. Or if you want to try your luck and get a copy of Frigg, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Because she is one of the best Ice DPSs out there. Her Shatter and her Charge ain't bad. Some of her best sets are 2-piece Samir, 2-piece Crow. So if you're still farming for that, or maybe you've already farmed for it, at least that's going to transfer over to your Frigg if you're able to switch those matrices. If you decide to wish for Frigg, is it worth her going for 1 star? Like you reach 80 pity and you get her. And maybe you want 40 more wishes to get that other guaranteed copy. Well, let's look at her first star. Gain one frostiness point every time you receive 550% times frost attack of damage in the frost domain. So this frost domain is talking about her weapon skill right here. You can get up to 10 frost points. And when frost domain ends, frostiness points times frost attack times 95% of a blast damage will be dealt to all enemies in the frost domain. After leaving the frost domain, lose one frosty points every three seconds. So basically, it's just more DPS. There's not really that much uh, versatility there. You can't carry it on over to a non-ice team. It's definitely not one like Subasa's first star where she can get that extra damage bonus to any team, no matter what she's in. So definitely not worth it. Her passive only increases frost attack by 1.5% every 3 seconds upon entering battle. You can stack up to 10 times and last for 5 seconds. So it's not bad. It's mainly for your ice team, boosting up their ice damage. So just kind of to reiterate, is Frigg worth it enough for you to stop and go for Nemesis? In my honest opinion, not really. Nemesis being on the current banner, she can heal, she can do so much stuff, she's so low maintenance, she's so good. And you can pair her with Samir, who you can get right now. You don't have to wait for any characters. You're going to be set with this team for a while. But if there's content in the game that requires ice DPS, you can just go for Subasa. Wait for Subasa. you can get her and she's going to be viable. I think I think for sure if you wanted to do an ice team, you need to wait for Saki Fuhua, who's going to give you that ice resonance. But if you miss Frigg, I wouldn't stress about it because you can always just put Tsubasa. But if you want the cyborg mommy, because uh, she she looks really good aesthetically and just she's she's pretty cool. The red hair, I can dig it. The, tw the dual blades, it's the vibe I can get with. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I wouldn't blame you if you went for Frigg. The last thing I want to talk about was the banner. So looking at the current banner releases that we have from the Chinese banners, the first time Nemesis appeared, Claudia was after and then Frigg. But if you look over here, the second time Nemesis appeared in the standard banner, 
then it was frig so if we're going off of that and it's just a real big hunch it's not even for sure like you can just take this with a super grain of salt but if they were to do this they were to follow this order starting right here that means lynn will be the next character on the banner and lynn is one of the most essential parts of every team comp as you can see right here with that giant fan it is everywhere so if that's what's coming then for sure frig is an easy skip because Lynn is going to be the next must pull. Who knows? I mean, they could be doing releasing Lynn after Frig because they, you know, they need something to compete with Genshin Impact. Now the Sumer is coming out. They need like all their good characters coming out. They can get people to play. But if Lynn is not coming out, then probably the next character should be Claudia. Hear that or Cobalt B. Because if you can go right here, Frig, and then Cobalt B. So it's either going to be Cobalt B, Claudia, and I don't know. Worst case scenario, Lynn. And I say worst case scenario because you F2P will not have enough time to save. Anyways, like always, this is just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. I just want to announce the hype that Frig is coming. I am definitely getting her. I'm definitely building a nice team and I can't wait to use her and I can't wait to pull her. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I love y'all so much. And remember, wife over meta. And I'll see you all in the next video.